Akite on the freshman. Floats it up and in. Good start for the Akite. Trying to get away from Drumgool. Instead, it will be Kel DeGraff. And he's fouled out of chance. In opponent's field goal percentage. Last in opponent's three-point percentage field yeah. goal. We're NJIT. And the Akite with the swipe knocks it loose. Gray through contact. No call. The Akite can't get it to go on the second attempt. He the Akite. Works around Kettner, finds McMillan. Bullseye, the freshman ball. It's McMillan. 15-6 deficit. And Diakite fakes the pass and flushes oh. it home. Coleman off and running. Bounce pass. So Sawe is going to be able to put it in. in. Just Ten minutes before injuring himself a year ago. Here's a Sawe on the feed. He's able to Same put it in. Woodward career technical in Cincinnati. Oh, but he stays in the zone. And where's the soft spot? Right off at the top. with the Great Danes. The Akite spins on him, goes up strong. Things maybe adjust him pretty effectively. McMillan got bailed out as the Akite was there. Easiest pass. Somewhere if they're not going to play, they're chanting defense for their fellow teammates as that's a great one. The Akite is definitely trying to assert himself today. Gets it to Hess. Yes. And for the out rebound. Of Sullivan shaking and baking. Hess hit here a moment ago. Same corner, same spot, same result. So far, to start this half. Spoke too soon. Yeah, and then a rejection as Gray goes on the down shot clock. clock. Here's Kel DeGraff just into the game for Diakite. Has the size advantage and able to finish. Rail 6'10", he he's broad. Kel will try again. Bullseye! Kel DeGraff. Sawe, Beagle, the freshman, being him up. And somehow, Sawe now goes leaked. Islanders got back, but here's Patel. Block rejected. It was one. Innocent. You know, it's one of the lines in that movie. And I feel it applies to basketball as a Sawe just keeps yeah. score. Solon kicks it to Diakite. What a Sawe. Good jump stop. And Coleman open. Bullseye. Coleman has a size advantage here. Goes over Jackson. Yes, count the basket. Good, good the by Suleiman Diakite. Boy, he was all over the place. 13 points, nine boards, two assists, three steals, and a block to boot. He and Osawe were a plus eight in efficiency for the Highlanders. So, a plus minus. A really good game for those two guys, and the Highlanders getting a much needed win at home where they've had a few slip through their fingertips. And this one does not. They grasp it, and for the first time ever in the series, now 11 meetings against Albany. They have a W against the Great Danes. So the Highlanders get the W, and uh, they'll be back to action on Thursday at Bryant. We won't see you for a while. We'll get you back here to the WEC for the Highlanders' next home game, which will be against UMBC the 25th of January, 7 p.m. on ESPN3. It worked by the JHP crew tonight. And for my partner, Rob Kennedy, I'm Matt Province saying so long and farewell a final time from Newark, New Jersey, where NJIT gets the home victory here against Albany by that final of six, uh, 74 to 67. Have a great weekend, everybody.